Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster here on the Brownfield Productions YouTube channel. Now in this video, just before we actually get on, I just want to have a little recap of what we actually did last time. Now you might notice that last time I actually started to build the actual track for this little dark ride I'm going to be uh, theming in the coming weeks ahead along with the new roller coaster I've also built along with the other little rides I have done as well. Now in this video I'm going to be focusing, focusing on this little green area just around here because I think this would be a really good place to build a water ride and I'm thinking about building a log flume ride because I think it would be really really good to put one there could be like a little mini log a mini log flume ride which I'm going to put in there which will be really nice for that area so without further ado I will see you when I have actually found the log flume coaster design as well so here I've actually now found my log flume so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to place it over here because I actually want to build a really really nice uh, log flume ride so it will be a very very nice addition to the park so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the station um, I don't know how big I want this ride to be but I want it to be a really nice uh, small log flume uh, not too big but just suitable for family so we'll go ahead and place our station in first and I will then first we'll just extend the station out a bit first so we'll just we'll just move that's it yeah so we'll have a exit entry right and an exit right so we'll just um, just that's it we'll just make it around about that big because we're not going to have I'll tell you what we'll just make it a bit bigger something about yeah something about like this that's not too bad because it's actually going to be a smaller log flume coaster anyway. So, yeah, we're going to now start to build this amazing log flume. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a... I think we're going to try and see if we can build a little bit of a track first. And then we'll try and see if, it, if we can actually build a nice lift hill for the um, log flume itself. So we're just going to make a really nice few corners so just to go around just make like a worm shape and then we'll add a few drops in in a few minutes after we've done this little bit so like I said it's not going to be a really big lock flume but I want it to be really thrilling as well so I think yeah that will do and I think we'll then build the first lift hill about here so we'll just add in that last piece of track and we will then actually start to build the lift hill so we'll just straighten the track out and then we will add the hill so the boat so this is what the lift hill looks like and then we're going to create a, a splash effect. So we want it to go up quite a bit. So we want it to go up. Yeah, that's a really nice little lift hill. So it will go quite high up. And then we will add in the drop. So something like that and we will then add in oh. a second Oh, 
Oh, it's got to be at the end of a drop. Sorry about that. I might just put it up a little bit higher. And lift. And then we will drop for the boat. Ah, there we go. Then we can then make the, the splash down as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll just keep going all the way down. think that would be a bit too far. Nope, that's a bit too far. That'd be impossible. There we go, that's it, that's a good one. But like I said, once we've actually done the actual um, layout of the log flume, I'll then go into then build a lake as well. So it actually um, fits nicely with the log flume because like I said, you can't just have a log flume without water surrounded it because it would just look a bit boring really it'd be nice if we actually did have some water so we're just going to create a splash down about that and then we're going to end it there and then we're going to then make another lift hill and they can make a nice area and then we are going to then make another lift hill after that So we just want to just make a nice, you know, I just want to make, this This is going to be theming along along here, by the way, so that, the, so that it gives uh, people something to look at while they are sitting down inside the log flume, or inside the lock, sorry. <laughs> um, let's just go here, yep. It's not looking too bad. We could create another drop. So we'll just, and then we'll just, and then we'll make another drop around about here. So we'll just, yeah. So we'll make a, yeah. We'll make another drop here. So we'll just start the lift hill, and then we will then build the actual drop. If I can remember how I actually did this. That's it, we need to, I think it's that one, I'm not sure. No, that's not the one. Ends the lift. And start a drop, that's it. There we go, we're back on track. I know how to do it now. So we'll create a nice drop over here. No, that's too far. Just need to go down one more. That's it. Two, three, four. Don't want it to be too far. Yep, we'll end it here. No, that's it. can we make it smaller? No, no, we're just gonna have to go back. We'll, we'll do a bit of a smaller splash down. Yeah, there we go, because it's now going to connect. So, we've got a, another good drop so far. Like I said, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to then um, complete this log flume, and I will see you once I've actually start to build the really really big drop okay then so here we have now done our fantastic log flume ride you, you can actually see here there's a total of one two three and four drops on this ride because i actually wanted to make this ride a bit thrilling so you can see here we've actually got a really nice relaxing um, journey and then it goes up the lift hill and then it goes through some splashdowns like I said with the other 
drops as well. It then goes up the really big lift hill at the end and then the big drop at the end and then along with one final drop as well at the end. So you can see here we've actually got our um, our log flume car over here in the station. I'm just going to add a few more um, cars. So we've got one at the moment. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, probably about five will do because it's only a small log flume. And what I'll do then is I'll take you for a quick POV of this awesome log flume coaster by doing a quick test. So you can see here we're doing a really, really quick, simple test of what the ride actually looks like. And yeah, so it's just going to go around a few corners before making its way up the first lift hill. And then it will do the same with all the other um, uh, lift hills after that. Yeah, can I just say thank you very much for watching the um, the past few episodes of this exciting series so far. And can I just say there's also been another increased total of subscribers, 127 YouTube subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much to those who are brand new and welcome to the channel. It's great to have your support. And like I said, doing these really sad and dark times, it's always nice to have some support, to have some support from people who really enjoy watching YouTube channels and that's what I really like doing. I've really enjoyed creating a YouTube channel to entertain all of you out there who have been watching my videos over the past uh, near past four years and it's been really, really good doing this YouTube channel and I've learned so much about editing, what videos to produce and how I can improve the videos because it, it really is a fantastic channel Bradford Productions is and like I said I'm very sorry if there hasn't been any videos online lately due to this um, coronavirus outbreak that keeps happening across the world really but you know it's so nice to do a series like this with Planet Coaster because it allows you to build build roller coasters you can then theme them afterwards you can then go on them afterwards and yeah it's just really nice because you know like with my other roller coaster game further off the rails you know, I'm not, like I said, I do have a little something to tell you. Like I said, I'm not going to be playing further off the rails anymore. I'm I'm sticking to Planet Coaster because I think this is one of the best roller coaster simulation games out there. Because, you know, the graphics are absolutely fantastic. You can actually, you know, have lots of different options with the, the ride camera. You can actually have have the front bumper. You can have the, the wings. So actually shows you the side of the coaster that you can you know something like this yeah so you can have a look at the car you can have it from above behind you know just anything and then you can even sit in any seat you want as well so you've got here so you've got different trains you can switch different seats if you wanted to and switch different cars as well but like I said and trains as well but you know, this is a really, oh, oops, wrong one. So yeah, this is now going up the second lift hill. And I really like the graphics because it actually looks like a real log flume in real life with the conveyor belt uh, going up the lift hill. And like I said, some of you out there might be wondering, Jamie, why can't you record it on PC? Now the problem is, if I record it on a PC, it's just going to go incredibly, incredibly slow. So I thought, you know, stick to the camera because you can see everything is moving exactly at the same time. When I actually did an episode a few weeks ago, I actually noticed that when I was actually editing it, it was completely slow and I couldn't even, you know, I just couldn't believe how much time I actually put into that episode. And I had to redo the whole lot again by using this camera. So I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll skip this bit and I'll, Fast forward it so you can actually see the big lift hill. Okay then, so we have reached the big lift hill. So this is the big drop. And you can see it's gonna it's gonna go quite high up actually, and I think this is gonna be a pretty big splash uh, down below. 
because like I said the more higher you build the log flumes the more splashes you're going to get we should be at the top any minute now and after this we will then be down the big drop and then we've got one final little drop as well that I've actually placed in for fun and here we go let's see how big the splash is going to be wow look at that really big splash and then the coaster will I mean the log frame will then just just make its way out the splash zone and then it will then go down one final drop anyway I'm not going to show you that because I think that's enough um, POVs uh, for now and I will then wrap up this episode so there we go then so that is literally the end of this episode so thank you very much for um, watching this awesome episode and can I just say we managed to design a wonderful log flume and this is going to be a really, really good future to the park once I have finished re-theming it, like I'm doing with all the other rides at this moment. In the next episode, I'm going to be continuing building some of the other family rides and coasters and other um, water rides. And I might even build in a monorail or even a railway. It depends which one I would like to design for the park. Anyway, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching Banfit Productions. Please keep the support coming. It's really nice to see new subscribers and join the, these videos here on Banfit Productions. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.